Hey DJs, Brian B here. Our New Year's Eve parties are just around the corner, so I thought it'd be important to touch on the New Year's Eve countdown. You know, the countdown is as important to that event as the grand entrance is to a wedding. Yet if you look online, there's virtually zero tutorials or any kind of training materials on how to execute one properly. New Year's Eve is also known as the amateur night, you know, when the people who never go out are going out for a party experience, and they're counting on the DJ to deliver on that countdown. So with that in mind, I thought I'd share with you five tips for executing a great New Year's Eve countdown. Tip number five, don't start too early or too late in building momentum. What I mean by that is you can make an announcement every couple hours as you're playing that the New Year is coming. So hey, ladies and gentlemen, we got three hours till the New Year. But then you really want to start ramping up the regularity and the more explicit instructions about 15 minutes prior. Things like where to uh, get their party props. It's a good idea to have a drink in hand. Find your significant other. Things like that. If you do it too early, people will forget. Uh, you may even wear out the crowd too early. If you do it too late, then they don't have any of those things and you blow the whole countdown. So it's key to make those last few announcements about the 10 or 15 minute mark. Typical layout of timing would be 10 to 15 minutes, make that announcement. Then at the five minute mark, play your last song. We play a lot of open format parties, so I would recommend having at least four different styles of music handy that you've actually rehearsed and set your cue points to where you can have um, looping areas and be able to talk over instrumental sections. So I would recommend a pop song, maybe a hip hop song, maybe a, a, a you know, high energy track, and then lastly, a party classic. So that you can read off the crowd and decide where to go from there. And then at the two minute mark is when you wanna hit those instrumental sections to kinda of start layering the, uh, the crowd hype. You know, ask questions to your crowd, like how many people are ready for 2017? Let me hear you say, hell yeah. You know, uh, where are my uh, party people at? You know, things like that. Um, and then at the one minute mark is when you can start really building that countdown. And uh, we'll talk about how to specifically count it down in a second. Tip number four, don't worry about being so precise on the countdown itself. Yes, there's probably gonna be TV screens around with them broadcasting things from Times Square or, or various different places, or they may have their clock sequence to the world time itself. But as long as you are doing your job on the microphone and engaging the crowd, they'll go off of your time. I have stressed myself out and ruined many a countdown by trying to make it so precise. It doesn't have to be. As long as you're within that 60 second window, you should be good. Tip number three, have two or three countdowns ready to go. What I mean by that is that we have tracks in our library that have full 60 second countdowns pre-produced or 30 second countdowns pre-produced or even 10 second countdowns pre-produced or don't even use them at all and count it down yourself starting at 10 seconds. If you do the latter, make sure to cut the audio completely. That way you're engaging the crowd completely and you're really picking the ones based off of what the crowd energy is and what feels right for that moment. By rehearsing it and practicing those two or three countdowns, um, you'll be setting your party up for success. Tip number two, let people have a moment after the countdown. Don't just slam into your next song. Let people cheer, let people toast or kiss into the new year and have that moment. Otherwise, it'll feel rushed. And tip number one is to play a banger of a track immediately following the moment. This could be the number one song out. This could be the best song of the previous year. It could be a party classic. Whatever is best for your crowd, play that song as soon as the moment's complete. And another little inside tip, don't worry about repeating a song. If you've played that song, that top song earlier in the night because it felt right for the crowd, to repeat it again, that's fine. You want to play your best song as soon as that moment is over. So repeat or not, play that song. And then take the party from there.